At the headquarters of this Brussels anti-corruption NGO, the battle lines were drawn at the start of the week. Since the announcement of the Qatar scandal in the European Parliament, Rafael Carguano has been reviewing his data intensively. These people are meeting Qatar Airways, which is not on the transparency register. Um, are you sure? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Look at this. Nearly 13,000 lobbyists are listed in the EU's transparency register. Senior officials in the European Commission must declare their meetings with these interest groups, but it's optional for members of the European Parliament. This publication system was put in place at the start of the current mandate in June 2019, and we found through our own research that just over half the MPs chose to disclose their encounters, though most only published only one or two meetings, and one or two meetings over almost four years, it's hard to believe. This lobbyist, who often meets MEPs, agrees with this characterization. But in this case of alleged bribes from Qatar, he believes that new transparency rules wouldn't change much. Corruption doesn't happen within European Parliament itself. It's something that happens behind closed doors. So all the rules that are put in place to regulate lobbying won't stop acts that have nothing to do with European lobbying. The idea that corruption could have taken place so flagrantly here at the European Parliament has put under a microscope the business of trying to influence EU lawmakers, particularly by foreign governments.